know, I really hope that the the spam callers like prepaid oh, for the package. Right. So right now it's just ringing and ringing and ringing, and nobody knows. That oh, would suck it. That would be amazing. Now, if you do want to hear a song while we are doing our social distance smells like nineties rock gig, you're gonna have to hit us up on Facebook by Wednesdays. Yeah, we'll write it down and we'll uh, we'll figure it out for you. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll put we'll it say in the Tuesday playlist. midnight. Tuesday midnight. Tuesday midnight. Cut-off. Tuesday midnight cut off. Mm-hmm. Uh, hit us up on Facebook. Say, you know what? I really need to hear. Blah, right. That's right. Yeah. I need to. I need to sleep now in the fire. <laughs> I need to hear the cure. I need to hear uh, Matchbox Twenty. Placebo. Placebo. Primus. Nirvana. Metallica. You need to hear these bands. We'll we'll get it on for you. But you got to you know tell us. You know the song that has been stuck in my head this last week. What's that? It is um, Galileo by the Indigo Girls. Don't know why. That is very random. Mm -hmm. It's not very apocalyptic either. No. It is kind of because it's about uh, being reborn after you die over and over and over. Okay. Uh, Well. (laughs) Hey, hey, mine, the song that's stuck in my head. Next week that will be in the playlist. Okay. Well, the song that's been stuck in my head is is a swing band song, so uh, it's not... It's called Flying Home, and uh, it's just like jazz swing music. So, don't it, it, you can't really go by what's in your head because <laughs> you, you don't know what's going to happen. At this point, you can't even trust your own. Thoughts. You can't. You can't trust your own judgment on this, folks. It's just not mm-hmm. worth it. Mm-hmm. It's all this crap all over my computer. I don't ever just take a second to look at my computer. It's disgusting. Yeah, there's so many germs on my laptop. Yeah. Now that I'm looking at it. Look, there's coronavirus right there on my computer. Yeah, I have a 24-hour hour micro brand um, kills bacteria for up to 24 hours sanitizing. Okay? Yeah, I yeah. I spray my computer every day now. That's smart. I can't find that. I can't find that, and I can't find Clorox wipes. <laughs> Oh, I found um, six things of Clorox wipes too. Yeah, look, <laughs> pork, pork. The 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 um, the drugstore still have plenty of stuff. I know this because Baby J works at one, and she still brings home stuff by the plenty. But she works at one. She knows how to stockpile it and hide it away. She's from not the... even. She's not even stockpiling it. It's just that that people are are you know rummaging grocery stores. They're not doing it at drugstores for some reason. Ooh, I go to Walgreens. They are on my side of town. Really? Mm-hmm. I go to Walgreens. That's the one. That's the store I go to. I go to. I go there more than grocery stores. Then go to Walgreens. Just... Go to Walgreens. I, I found toilet paper. I'm safe in in that department, but I can't. So you can duty. I've got hand sanitizer, but I can't find any Clorox wipes. I think I'm I might. Sorry, die. I would have given you some, but I sent them to my brother. Eh, just stock up. Okay. Just stock up on the Purell. You'll be fine. Just or like, really, just get. You can usually find like um, a bleach spray that tends to come in a lot more than the wipes because people. That's the one thing that I've learned about um, this virus is like we don't know how to make things or survive. We have gone down to where everything's the easiest way possible, so we don't know how to do things. So if you need to sanitize things, get yourself some bleach spray. Put it on a paper towel, dab your paper towel so it's not sopping, and wipe it down. You have a Clorox bleach wipe now. You win. It's just like that. Yeah, that's how the human race is going to be destroyed, is the fact that we can't take care of ourselves. Mm-mm. Yeah, I think I'm down to... If I get desperate, I'll just like spray myself down with scrubbing bubbles. I have some of that in my, <laughs> under my bathroom sink. There you go. I don't know if I'd do that, but all right. It might burn. I can. I, I, I imagine it would burn. That's gonna a lot. That's that's not gonna okay. Be. Oh God, <laughs> we're supposed to be apolitical on this show. Darn okay. No, oh, that's the president. It is the president. Good ear. We're supposed to be apolitical. Although, how, how can he be at this time? He wants us to be back in church in uh, in, in, church. in church by Sunday. Or by Easter Sunday. That's right. 
You weren't wrong when you said that. He wants us to be back and doing our thing on by Easter. Or um, the Texas governor who said that our grandparents should volunteer to die. For the economy. So I think they'd be proud to die in the economy. Yeah. Because for the economy, yes, m- the greatest generation in the world is you know already gone. They're just the second, right? You know. Because money bags wants a vacation this June, and he's not going to get to have it if the economy's not there. Mm-mm. But don't we live in a capitalist society? In a capitalist society, businesses are supposed to fail if they do not pro- like do their business correctly. Yeah. Exactly. So uh, these businesses that are failing seems like that's just you know. Business Darwinism. Yeah. Darwinism. Yeah, Darwinism. Like, it's just business. It's called Not Our Problem is what it's called. 